Today on the bench, we're going to tie up the damsel leech. We've named it the damsel leech because depending on how you fish it, you can fish it like a damsel or you can fish it like a leech. And it works really good either way. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. We're going to tie the damsel leech on a size 12 TMC 2312 2X dry hook. We'll use some Wapsi 70 Ultra Thread to tie with. We'll use some brown marabou for the tail. A combination of brown marabou, light olive marabou, and yellow olive marabou for the body. For the wing case, we'll use some green pheasant tail, some light olive marabou with some yellow olive marabou for the head, and for the ribbing, some medium copper wire. I'm going to start off by taking my brown marabou. And what I like to use on the brown marabou here is just the tips, the very tip of the marabou. And when I use the dubbing, I'll use actually the feather parts of this feather. But right now I want to use the very tip. I'm just going to straighten out and I'm going to make it the length of the hook, measure up the length of that hook, put it back and tie on the tail. After the tail's tied in, I'm going to take my medium copper wire and I'm going to lay it down onto the hook. And it doesn't hurt to lay down the copper wire onto the hook and actually build up a bit of a, a base on this wire and tie it back to the tail. Now to build up the body. I'm going to take a light olive marabou, my olive yellow marabou, and my brown marabou, and I'm going to pick off the fine fibers at the very bottom and start dubbing it onto my thread. And I'm just going to alternate between these three different marabou colors and keep dubbing onto my thread until I get a nice dubbing body built up on the thread. Now that we have all the marabou dubbed onto the body, we're just going to wrap it around the hook to form the body. And as you wrap it, you can see the multicolors built right into the fly. And we're going to wrap it up about an eighth of an inch from the eyelet, just to leave room enough for the head. We'll take our copper ribbing that we had sitting back there, our wire, and now we'll rib it forward and form about three to four ribs up the body and tie off. We'll take a small patch of our green pheasant tail and we'll tie it in just near the head and that will be our wing case that we'll bring over after we tie in the head. I like the head to be a little lighter so I'm only going to take my light olive and my yellow olive marabou to dub in the head. So again we're going to pick off some fibers and just alternate between the two colors and dub it onto your, to your thread. I've dubbed the two materials onto my thread. And now I'm going to wrap forward and just form a nice bushy head. Our last step is we have this green pheasant tail and we're going to bring it over towards the eyelet to form a small wing case on the fly and tie in front and behind. We've finished the fly and it's complete. And there it is, the finished Danza Leech. This pattern is really one of our favorite patterns here at Sport Fishing on the Fly. And you can tell as I turn this fly around, you can actually see that if you pick out the marabou on the body, it'll give it a real nice buggy look. And that's the special thing about using the marabou. Try different colors. I know these colors work well. Great fly.